Hi, in this video we will use Ladder to program Zelio Logic. Our first program in Ladder will be the direct online motor starter or just the simple start stop for a motor. The Ladder is uh, very similar to the classical automation circuit. Let's see the circuit that uses uh, the classical automation circuit. This is our contactor. This is our start button, this is our stop button, this is our overload contact. If we're using a thermal overload relay, it will be the contact with the number 95 and 96. So, and uh, we will see that this is a normal closed contact, and this is a normally closed contact, this is a normally open contact, and this is an other normally open contact. If the start button is pressed, the Q0 closes, and also this contact is closed, and uh, this contact is responsible for B the Q0 closed until we have an overload or we, or we press the start button. We will use that circuit to program. This is the, the base of our program. Let's program the Zelio. We will need three inputs. Let's say this is the start to one input. This will be the top one input, and this will be the overload. To one input. And this is, will be the motor one output. Here we are. Let's program. Here's this. The here is the start one, here is the stop one, here is the overload. And the output will be the Q1 for the coil. Let's comment here motor one start and so the comments and let's use Q one contact in parallel with the start one. Let's press simulation. Let's run the simulation. As we said, the stop and the start are closed. The oops, sorry, the stop, the stop, and the overload are normally closed. That means that when everything is ok the Zelio must be so that if we press the start the Q1 will be high and we will be, if we press stop or everything else the Q1 must be low let's see that in the our ladder we press input one and the motor energized oops, sorry and the motor starts and we press the stop and the motor stops. This circuit can be implemented and with a different way. Let's say the motor to start. We will need 
need again input let's say the start to the stop to input and the overload to and let's and the output will be the motor too here is the output we will need the overload to contact we will need the stop oop, the overload to let's connect to the output we will need the stop to here will be the Q the Q2 and here will be the start number 2 let's connect it let's press against simulation let's play run the i5 and the i6 must be high because they are in close contact to the automation circuit that's the reason that we will use this this will be our Zelio uh, screen when we when implement the circuit using that way and we will press the start button the Q2 must be high let's see what it's happened and this is the two possible ways to implement this algorithm this will to start or stop a motor using Zelio and using ladder thanks for watching see you on the next video bye